Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about Arizona and Cary Lake and the Supreme Court and a very, very, very long-running story that appears to finally be coming to a close. So we will talk about that and the implications for Lake's campaign. Okay, so... Back prior to the 2022 midterms, Kerry Lake and another candidate were involved in a suit. And basically it was alleging something was wrong with the voting machines. Uh, went to court in Arizona and they did not get the result they were looking for. Took it to the Ninth Circuit, did not get the result they were looking for. Took it to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court has declined to hear it. This Supreme Court has declined to hear it. The incredibly conservative Supreme Court has declined to hear it. At the Ninth Circuit, let's see, it says, uh, in the end, none of plaintiff's allegations supports a plausible inference that their individual votes in future elections will be adversely affected by the use of electronic tabulation, particularly given the robust safeguards in Arizona law, the use of paper ballots, and the post-tabulation retention of those ballots. Okay, with the Supreme Court deciding not to take it up, this should be the end of this storyline. Um, Lake, like many Republicans, has made a number of claims about the election. Um, and in some ways, this is probably going to hurt the campaign a little bit. Her, uh, her personal view of this case, I don't know. I, I don't know what she thought was going to happen. Personally, I don't think that she believed she was going to win this at the Supreme Court. Um, it seemed more like a an energizing thing for the campaign, something to get the base fired up about. This ending now, instead of being prolonged, is not. It's probably not good. It's probably going to impact fundraising and enthusiasm for the Lake campaign. We don't know that yet, but that would be my assumption. There were a lot of people who were very excited about these sorts of claims. Um, it not being heard, it's probably a pretty big letdown for those people who were supporting her for that reason. Um, so this is definitely a bump in the road for the Lake campaign. I don't think it's going to send them off the road, though. Um, this is probably not as much of an issue as some of the other recent developments in Arizona. Uh, those are probably going to weigh way more heavily on voters' minds when they actually go to the polls. But this is probably going to reduce the amount of publicity that she gets and the enthusiasm among that core fired up base. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.